Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at a couple of things with images and shapes in Microsoft PowerPoint. The first thing is we're going to put an image inside a shape and do it so it's not distorted. And then we're going to rotate the shape so that the image stays upright, it's not turning around. Now the important thing to note is that there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. So first of all, I'm going to go and get my pictures. I'm going to insert tab and then pictures and I'm going to grab a picture from my computer. This is the one I'm going to use, it's from unsplash.com. Just going to scale it down so that we can work with it in the slide. Now the shape I'm going to use is just one that has a definite direction because that's just going to make it easier for us to see that we're rotating the shape and not rotating the image inside it. So as I draw my shape you'll see that the shape format tab appears and I can see the height and width. I want mine to be a square so I want it to be contained within a square so I'm just typing the same value for height and width. So the overall container shape for this arrow is a square. My photograph is not a square. If I try and copy it, so I'm just going to click on copy, I'm going to click on this shape, right click and choose format shape and come in here to picture or texture fill and paste in my clipboard shape, you'll see that my cows are distorted. So that's not going to work for us. I'm just going to undo that and let's go and solve the problem. Now there is a method that you could use to crop this image to a shape. The problem with that method is that you can't rotate the shape without the image rotating as well. So this is what you're not going to do. Select on the image, go to picture format and go to crop, crop to shape. So we could crop it to the shape that we've been working with, but a couple of things. You can't rotate the shape without taking the image with it. And also you can't resize the shape without squashing up your image. So well, you can't do it easily. So that's not the way to do it. So we're just going to undo that and go back to solving the problem the right way. So the first thing I'm going to do is, yes, I am going to crop this image to a square because that's the container it's going into, but I'm going to do it by cropping it to a square, not cropping it to a shape. So click the picture format tab, go to crop, and here we're going to choose aspect ratio. Now a square is a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. The width and the height are going to be the same. So I'm just going to click on one-to-one. -one. And then I can move my image into position inside the square. So I'm very much focused on the fact that I've got a pointer coming through there. So I'm probably going to be best to use this cow here. So I'm just going to choose that as my crop. And I'm going to click here back on crop again to fix my crop. So now I have a square photo and a square shape. I'm going to copy this. I'm just pressing Control C, but you could do home and then copy. Clicking on my shape, I have my format shape panel already open. If it wasn't, you would right click and choose format shape. And then we're going to picture or texture fill. And because I've just copied that from the slide, it's on the clipboard. So I'm just going to click clipboard. That's the easiest way of doing it, making sure that you're cropping your image inside PowerPoint because it's just so easy. Now, before you leave this particular panel, this is what you need to do. There's an option here for rotate with shape. And that means if I rotate this, the cow is going to be rotated with it. But if I disable this checkbox, then I can rotate the shape and the cow stays where she is. Now for me, this setting here is not where I would expect it to be. I would expect there to be an option in the rotate area to leave the picture where it is, but it's not. So just be aware that you probably want to think about this ahead of time when you're in the format picture dialer, when you're placing your picture, might I want to rotate the shape? If so, I'm just going to disable this option because otherwise when it comes to rotating, if you don't do that, then your image is going to rotate. And it's not particularly intuitive trying to find the option that is going to leave the picture where it was. So I hope that helps you in terms of placing images inside shapes. Just be aware of the actual physical size of the shape and then you can crop your image to that size just using the crop tool on the picture format tab and choose the kind of aspect ratio that you want to do that's close enough to the aspect ratio of your shape. Now in this case, we don't want this cow anymore because we've already got it in here. So I'm just going to delete it. And now we have what we set out to do a 
cow image inside an arrow. The cow image is not distorted. And when I rotate the shape, the cow does not rotate too. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.